boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol T S A L Tesla. This is a stock that we've covered here on the channel, and you guys know my position on the stock. It's no surprise, uh, but there's been some major news, so I want us to talk about it and uh, the possible implications. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to Tesla, again, this is our, a stock that you guys are aware. I mean, Elon Musk, is he's no surprise to the media. He's always out there uh, talking and doing stuff. So um, the stock itself or the company itself uh, really rides on, on, on Elon Musk and, and some of the things that he says and his vision for the company. Um, recently, we've seen like this year in particular, I think the last two or three months, you saw the stock really take a beating in the market, uh, drop down to maybe about $138, which is kind of crazy. And then the earnings came out and everybody knew that it wasn't going to be pretty. But again, you think that when earnings come out and are not pretty, the stock is going to take even more of a beating. But that wasn't the case for Tesla. When Tesla missed their earnings and, and stuff, the stock popped uh, because of some of the good news that um, Tesla shared with, with us during their earnings call. So if you didn't listen to that, um, I can put the link in the description. You can definitely go out and listen to it. Uh, even just um, the press release, I'll put that too in the description so you can go out and check it out. But I mean, uh, today the stock just jumped up close to about 21%. And the reason why that's happening, let's jump in. I'm gonna show you guys exactly why. So um, there's news out there that um, uh, Tesla's uh, FSD software has been approved in China. We know fully well that this was initially approved in the U.S. Um, and in Canada just for, for select um, uh, FSD users. And again, it was supervised FSD. So it's not fully um, um, uh, FSD. It's, this is just supervised. And so now that this has been approved in China, I think it opens up because they have a huge presence in China as far as the market and they have competition out there. So now they're doing kind of a partnership with Baidu, which is the equivalent of their own uh, Google. So they have all the information they need as far as uh, navigation and maps and all that stuff. They're getting it from Baidu and then uh, incorporating that into their, their FSD systems to now start uh, implementing that in China. So that's good news. And just this alone um, really pushed the stock up this morning um, from just kind of getting a continuation from what happened during after their earnings call. Because after their earnings call, the stock saw a really huge bump and then that continuation uh, with this news now. So, I mean, there's a high possibility that by the end of day today, this stock is probably going to hit $200 again. Um, after a while. So that is the news, but I wanted to kind of take you guys a little bit here. Let's go and, and see. Um, this is why I think Tesla is definitely positioned um, to be a major player in the world. This is the whole ecosystem. And if you can see, Elon Musk, his vision it's not just what people see, which is these vehicles. You, you see oh, somebody's driving a Tesla, you, you think that's it. But if you see all of these things, this is the future. And he's saying like, hey, we're not just gonna come here and build, build vehicles. We are more of a technology company as opposed to just a car manufacturer. So the part of the business that people don't really talk about would be these charging stations, the energy storage, and then if you start looking at this, the AI compute, this is huge um, because the AI compute is going to power their humanoid uh, robot. These are going to work in factories. Um, I mean, fast food places are all going to be replaced by this. Once these uh, um, robots are trained and they have the capability to be able to outperform humans and make less mistakes than humans would. So you would see more fast food would be controlled by robots, which I think um, it, it's the future. I, I don't know what's going to happen to us humans, but that's where they are pushing. So if you can see this whole ecosystem, one other area that Elon Musk really talks a lot about that he's telling other people to invest in 
is right here, this lithium refinery. So this, if you can start refining lithium, so even recycling bat lithium batteries and getting the lithium out of it, he thinks it's a major uh, part of the future because if everything is going to depend on lithium um, for the, the, the batteries, guess what? When these vehicles get old and get out of, out of service, that lithium in those batteries can be recycled. Um, I think the, there's one um, company right now that's doing recycling called Redwood Material. And the guy that um, owns that company worked for Tesla before leaving and studying that company. And I think Elon Musk has a good relationship with him. So it wouldn't surprise me if he is behind the scenes really working magic. And then um, the, the guy that runs it is just the, the face of it. That wouldn't surprise me. Redwood Material, it's the company. And uh, I have my eyes on that company. The day they say they're going public, I'm definitely going to jump, jump on them because I know for sure Elon Musk has something to do with it. And then the charging stations... They're now working so that other uh, EV manufacturers can leverage the, the Tesla charging station, which is an, an awesome thing to do. And then, I mean, obviously the energy storage, um, you know, through solar. And then here's one other area that I didn't really see coming for, for me was this insurance part of it. So they're trying to bring everything in-house. This is, I mean, look at this. This is a whole ecosystem because if you break this up as separate businesses, all of these are businesses that can just stand by themselves and work. Because we look at just charging station, charge point, bling. Those are companies that all they do is try to build charging station. But Tesla has that as part of their umbrella. Um, they manufacture vehicles, Ford, and all these other companies, they're still competing with Tesla in that space. Then your service uh, 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 section too, That's they make a ton of money off of that. Obviously, they build these batteries. And then ride hailing this is another piece that i think is the future um, for tesla this is not even uh in production yet but they're working on it and pretty much uh a combination of the fsd tied to ride hailing this is going to be incredible i mean i'm excited for it so if you just look at this ecosystem that tesla has going on this is where the future is so uh let's kind of jump here i'm going to show you guys real quick about uh, the stock and what just happened because I think that's what most of you guys really care about. You don't care about those nitty gritties. But here's where the stock is right now. So if you can see right here, this was um, back in um, April 22nd. See, this stock came down to a low of 138. Um, the earnings call right here, this is where they had their earnings um, April 23rd and see that bump. And so right off the earnings, they get this massive boost uh, back to like 160, 165. And then since then, it's just have this upward trend. And then today, opening because of this news of, um, you know, this partnership with Baidu to uh, the approver of FSD in China, you get another massive boost. So um, at least this, the stock has see the bottom. I, in my opinion, it's now curling back to the upside. Um, and most of the analysts that I follow, which um, I mean, they're way smarter than me, they have a price target of about $250. But we all know what, I mean, Tesla is Tesla. You can put that price target and it would blow past that, that in no time. So the, the future, in, in my opinion, is bright with Tesla. And the company itself with Elon Musk leading it, if you can see, look at that ecosystem. There are so many things. I, I mean... I, in my opinion, they haven't even scratched the, the, the top of where they want to go. I mean, cyber trucks, based on their earnings call, they've produced over a thousand cyber trucks in a week. So that is this is just massive production. And, and they're going to get efficient with the process. They're going to make it even more automated because, I mean, they're starting out. Uh, and the goal, of, again, if you see Elon Musk, is like, I want to make every process as efficient as possible, um, which in 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 turn means limited human interaction you can automate the process from start to finish that would save them a ton of money so that is the future um do you guys currently invest in tesla do you hold tesla what's your price target what's your game plan are you long term are you trading what are you thinking um i have positions that are long term that i'm not even messing with and then i do short terms like i i'll trade earnings like this and make it makes some profit and, and take that money and then invest it in my long-term account that's my game plan what's your game plan again let me know in, in the comment section and as always guys like share subscribe
subscribe and do your due, due diligence before messing around with any of the stocks. And I'll see you guys in the next one.